Abe Lincoln said, if I had six hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend the first four sharpening the X. All right, today I'm looking forward to sharpening this ax right here. This is the Helco Black Forest Woodworkers ax. It's kind of a universal size, a little smaller. And I'm going to use this right here. I haven't even tried this out yet. It's the Oxenkopf Sharpening Stone. This has a rough side and a smooth side. The Sharpening Stone is a combination of grindstone and whetstone. It's made with silicon carbide and they recommend using it with a few different methods depending on what type of sharpness you want. You can use it dry for fast removal. You can use it with water. You can use it with paraffin oil or you can use it with light oil. I have some paraffin oil so I'm planning on using this. Alright so here's a look at the axe I'm going to sharpen. Most axes are somewhere between 20 and 25 degrees. This one is relatively new. I haven't really used this that much. So if you can get a good look at this you'll see it's a pretty sharp blade. You can run your finger over it. You don't have to worry about cutting your finger. But I'm hoping that when I'm done with this it'll be sharp where it will actually cut paper. This would not cut paper at this point. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use this side right here with some paraffin oil. Let it soak into it. There we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to follow the angle of the blade. Here's the end I'm gonna use. I gotta make sure that, I'm just gonna go in small, small circular motion. Ideally, I like to put this in a vise of some sort, but sometimes you're just going to have to do it out in the field. So I'm going to hold it in front of me like this. I'm going to work the edge first, and then once I see that starting to sharpen, then I'm going to work back the edge a little bit. I want to do this for about three and a half minutes per side. Adding more oil to it. There are some gauges that you can buy that will show you what type of angle so you can see if you have like a initially like a 25 or a 20. If you have a mall, it might be a little wider than that. So it'd be a good idea to check that gauge to that every so often. Alright, so I have a little bit of slurry built up on both sides, so I'm gonna just wipe that off. Alright, I'm gonna flip the stone over from the coarse side, go to the fine side now, put a little oil on this. There we go. Oh, that's quieter, smoother. You can see it's fine tuning the sharpness here. I have a feeling this is going to come out nice and sharp. All right, now I've gone on both sides with the coarse and the fine side of the stone. I'm just going to wipe it off, get all the oil off of it. So I've heard that using a leather strop works really well for putting a nice finish edge and a polish on your axe or your hatchet or your knives. That's what the old time barbers use is a leather strop. And so my friend here, the J. Michael Ashland Company, he's a leather smith. He, I reached out to him and he sent me this right here. This is the leather strop that he uses to sharpen his knives. So the strop right here hasn't had any compound added to it. So I have this green one right here. And this is what I found at a local hardware store. Here's the card for it. So what you do is you take this side right here, the rough side of the leather, this side is smooth, go to the rough side and just rub that in like a crayon. And it's a They use these on buffing wheels. I've done that a number of times on several of my tools, like my um, chisels, things like that. It really All right, it's harvest season, so you can probably hear the Tractors plowing the fields right now, getting it ready, probably for winter wheat. All right, looks like I have some compound added in there, as you can see. You're going to want to always go away from it. You don't want to bring it towards it. So there's the compound. All right, we're going to just do equal amounts per side. Going away. I feel like going in a circle because that's what I've been doing, but this the strop works different. This will remove the little burrs that are on there. All right, let's go to the other side. 
All right, let's see what kind of edge we have on here now. Wow, that is really, ooh. Yeah, much sharper. I wonder if this will cut paper. All right, can you take a look? I don't know if you can see a nice edge on there. Yeah. All right, let's see how it bites in. I believe this is a piece of silver maple. Let's see how this new sharpen axe does with a 10 chop test. Oh yeah. Seven. Eight. Oh yeah. All right friends, I hope you found my video review of the Oxenkopf sharpening stone to be beneficial to you along with sharpening with a leather strap. If you do find this helpful, please give my video a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time. If you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right. Click on those. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below and check me out on Twitter and Instagram. All right friends, enjoy.